Hey, welcome back to Teacher Times Tutorials. We're going to take a look at uh, Google Drive today and how to create, uh, specifically, how to create a handouts folder so that you can uh, just make one document, put it in the handouts folder, and then it instantly gets shared out to all of your students. It's really easy, and I hope this tutorial is not only brief, but maybe a little bit entertaining. So, join me for the ride. So here we have our teacher in the dream scenario with a tiny little classroom and a small stack of handouts to pass out. This is going to be a breeze. Give the students the papers, they work on them, they pass them all back in. This is a, a cupcake of a job. But reality strikes and you realize you have a large number of kids in your class and an even bigger stack of papers on your desk. So as you can see, the paper shuffle becomes more difficult. You, of course, have to hand every kid a paper and they work on them and they pass them back in. And when you got numbers this big, of course, you're going to introduce the island of lost papers um, and so it just becomes you're thinking you know I got all this papers to hand out and I got budget cuts and I'm killing trees there's got to be a better way what if you could create a cloud and have yourself a folder and stick that folder in the cloud and make just one document and what if you put that document in the cloud and the cloud would automatically shoot it out to all your students wouldn't that be great well, what would you call that would you call that mm, magic no, you call that Google Drive. And we are going to test drive that for a bit today. So, time to open up those drives and figure out how we can make this magic happen. All right, so you've got yourself logged into your Google Drive and you want to go ahead and create that magic handout folder. It's really pretty simple. You click Create and you choose Folder and then you give that folder a name. I can imagine lots of other teachers might be doing this and giving students access to that. So we're going to make it pretty simple. I recommend you put in the current year and your last name and the fact that it's a, a handouts folder. Click, click Create, and you can see that that uh, new folder is now in existence in your drive. Um, you need to share that with your students, so hover on the right side and the little uh, drop-down arrow will appear. And we're going to choose Share and uh, we need to first give our students access so right now the default setting is private we're going to click change um, and then I'm going to go ahead and share this via a link so I'm going to choose people at Okemos Public Schools with the link that way students have to sign in using their Google accounts and I think that's going to be just a better way to do that so I'm going to check that box um, notice down below an access box uh, pops up uh, in this case, I only want my students to be able to view the anything that's in that folder and not edit it, because if they change it, it changes it for every other student that looks at it after that. So make sure Can View is selected and click Save, and you're almost done. Um, you could, of course, in the Invite People box, you could start typing in the uh, all the email addresses of people that you wanted to share it with, And but since this is students and there's a whole bunch of them, that's kind of a hassle. So all you need to do is uh, copy this link, so I'm going to select it and right-click and copy it and then you merely need to have a place to paste that link maybe you just put it uh, on your website in this case uh, I'm gonna go to my Edmodo and I've typed in a message for them there and I'm gonna click on the link and I would need to paste the link in there the link is pretty long so I like to go to uh, bitly which is a URL shortener I'm gonna paste the link in there click shorten so I have a tiny little link there click copy go back into my Edmodo and paste the link in like so it gives it a title called redirecting click attach and click send and I'm done the students will then get a, uh, a, a link like that when they click on that link it's gonna send them to a page where you can see the new folder that you correct that you created just like that and then all they need to do is click open and drive that little fancy blue button up in the top that's all they need to do once they've done that um, you will then have given them access to that folder and anything that you put in that folder is automatically there um, for example we've created a handout folder for our team and we even made subfolders for individual teachers in the team we can always add different folders and add new team members to that as, um, whenever you'd like and then adding anything to that is really simple so for example I've created this form a turn in form and I want to add that into my handouts folder so and I want to put it in in my name so I'm gonna open that up there click and drag and drop it into handouts and it's there and as soon as I put it there it's shared with the students couldn't be easier than that um, I hope that helps you and uh, 
hey, thanks for checking in. I hope that you enjoy working with Google Drive, and we'll continue playing with this as the school year moves on. Have a great day.